the following study by Bandura and Manlove is a classical study of psychology and it might be especially interesting for people who are afraid of dogs. The first step in this study was to conduct a pretest because they had to know what is the baseline, how afraid of dogs are the children at the moment. And therefore all children were individually taken into a room in which a cocker spaniel was waiting for them in a playpen. All the children were told, well, try to approach the dog as close as possible. So first of all, get close to the playpen, then try to touch it, try to pet it. Then one of the next steps was to turn it over and to crawl it on its stomach. Then staying alone with the dog in the room. So the experimenter left the room and finally the children were told to go into the playpen and to sit there together with the dog even when the door of the playpen became locked. Of course at pretest many of the children took only one, two or three steps of this procedure because they were just too afraid of the dogs at this point in time. But this should change due to the different treatments. All the children were shown different films. These films were of a quite short duration. They lasted on average only about three minutes. And the children watched two movies per day. So not all movies on just one day. And all in all, they watched eight films. So if you sum up eight films and every film with a duration of about three minutes, that makes an intervention of all in all 24 minutes. Not really much, but not all children were watching the same films. There were three groups. The first group was watching films about a five-year-old boy who went through a graduated exposure. So he managed to take all the steps the children were told at pretest and he finally mastered all the situations successfully and he was even able to, and now I quote from the study, rest his head on his canine companion during a brief siesta in the overcrowded playpen. The second group of children were also shown a graduated exposure, but this time they were not only shown a five-year-old boy, they were also shown other models of different ages and these different models were also confronted with different dogs, which became bigger and bigger. So the idea behind this group was that it might be more effective to show different models than just one. But already at this point I can tell you it didn't make a big difference. The third group was the control group. In this group the children were also shown eight films of the same duration, but this time it were just Disney films. So no graduated exposure or anything like that. So all the children had to take exactly the same test as in the beginning. They were again confronted with the Cocker Spaniel and it was rated how brave they behaved in this situation. It turned out that both vicarious learning groups who had observed a successful graduated exposure approached the Cocker Spaniel much closer. And what is especially nice about this study is that afterwards they conducted the same vicarious learning intervention with 12 children of the control group. And it turned out that also the children from the control group were much more willing to get closer to the dog. Why was this intervention so successful? Well, one important aspect is the age of the model. So if the children had observed adults who uh, approached the Cocker Spaniel crawl its stomach, this surely wouldn't have been that impressive. But if you see someone who's quite similar to yourself, the same age, maybe the same gender or maybe even a little bit younger than yourself then you come to think well if he can do it or if she can do it i can do it as well 